And this is how you get rid of frustrations. You punch it. Okay. And then you pick it up. My name is Carol Saylor. I am 73 years old. I am a sculptor and an art teacher. And you slam it down. Punch it some more. And I happen to be blind and deaf. This is a rough clay. When I first got the diagnosis, I was devastated. I thought that this was it. I had this stereotypical picture of blindness that the sighted world has. One of the misconceptions is, is that you see black, which I don't. I see all kinds of colors and shapes and vibrating spots, and it's quite beautiful. Can somebody come up here and look at this? Sammy is right here, over right. to your right. My name is Kate Whitman, and I teach art at Harrison High School. Um, today I brought my 3D multimedia sculpture class to see Carol Saylor's work. For me, um, her story is just as important as the work itself. Um, she's been through so much hardship, and she's found a way to always overcome and find a way to be positive and keep um, persevering. Today we're talking to about 12 students. I want them to close their eyes and touch my work. Do you have your eyes closed? Yeah. I want them to think about their mind's eye. I want them not to be afraid of blindness. I didn't really think about w what it would be like to be an artist while being blind and, and deaf. It's a crazy thing to think about. She's really good with touching things and she could really make the form of the body look cool when she can't even see it. My favorite subject is the female form. And I like sensuous shapes and I like faces. The things that I have learned about art go far beyond, I think, what the average sighted person knows. Uh, and that's really what my art is all about. I'm trying to demonstrate to the sighted community that there is another level to art. I feel, like I feel people, but they don't have arms. My name is Ophelia Castellito, and I'm in ninth grade, and I'm here on a field trip with my school. I thought that she was an amazing artist. She opened my eyes to um, that everything isn't just about what you see, it's also about what you feel. My art expresses these feelings of grief and, and loss and also hope, but it is definitely not art therapy. It is way beyond art therapy. It is, it's, it's an expression of my inner gut. <laughs> it's, it's just, um, it's part of me. I would hate to not be able to do it because that's what keeps me going, I think. You know, I feel I see I have some. 